नमस् शिवा स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फोर्थ क्लास ऑफ योर सॉइल चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास इलेवन जोग्राफी इन दिस क्लास वी शैल डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्लैक सॉइल फ्रॉम द नेम इट इज क्लियर दैट द कलर ऑफ द सॉइल इज ब्लैक नाउ समटाइम इट इज नोन एज द रेग्यूलर सॉइल ऑफ द कटन सॉइल एज कटन इज ग्रो वेरी वेल इन दिस सॉइल वाई इट इज ब्लैक बिकॉज ऑफ द डिपोजिशन ऑफ ह्यूमर्स नंबर वन number 2 it is it has originated from the volcanic origin because in india see here is the black soil region here is the black soil region and this soil actually form in the deccan plateau which is the volcanic origin Vol this black soil is very very rich in humus and it is formed by the solidification of the lava spread over the large areas during volcanic activities in the deccan plateau over the thousands of years ago at present these soils are found in over area of 5 lakh square kilometer which states are included in this black soil gujarat maharashtra western madhya pradesh karnataka and andhra pradesh tamil nadu sometimes in the lower parts of the uh, ganga and krishna valley you can also find in the uh, black soil what are the characteristics of the black soil black soil can retain moisture up to a very long time and it is become sticky when it wetty that means this regular soil due to the moisture retaining capacity is very much fertile particularly for the cotton cultivation cotton growing and uh, this soil in dry hot season moisture is evaporated from this soil and it develops a dry crack and there occurs a kind of self plowing and during rains they become sticky and difficult to plow so the black soils are very rich in minerals in the dry season it is become uh, dry it become dry due to excessive evaporation and develop crack here but in the uh, rainy season it become sticky and difficult to plow there it is very rich in magnesium alumina and potash and it is lack of phosphorus nitrogen and the organic matter mainly producing crop is the cotton otherwise you can grow jowar sugarcane etc next soil is the red and yellow soil this soil are reddish in color because of diffusion of iron and metamorphic rock so here the reaction of iron in this soil is very much high that is why it is known as the red soil and when this red soil becomes hydrated or wetty it looks yellow it, it is known as the yellow soil now which part of india is covered by the red and yellow soil karnataka andhra pradesh tamil nadu parts of odisha chatisgarh Uh, etc some parts of western ghats also this soil has deficient in nitrogen organic and the phosphoric acid content that's why it is less fertile as usual because organic low that means it is a fertility also low the fine grained red and yellow soil are normally fertile whereas coarse grain soil found in dry upland areas are poor in fertility so after this we have discussed the red and yellow soil and the black soil now we shall discuss about the laterite soil laterite has been the term the term derived from uh, laterite is derived from the term later latin word it is a latin word which means the bricks 
and laterite soil is formed as a result of leaching away of siliceous matter of the rocks due to dry and wet condition which takes place in the typical monsoon climate so in the monsoon climate generally rainfall occur but in the dry season of the monsoon some siliceous matter silica when just leached from the upper part of the soil to the lower it is known as the laterite soil with the rain the lime and silica are leached away now you think in this class not in this class in this chapter in previous class i have discussed about the alluvation process from the a horizon due to the heavy rain some minerals i have said that some minerals leached away or removed from a to b this is the main reason of the laterite soil because laterite soil is formed when there is a dry condition in the tropical monsoon season and it is formed when siliceous and lime material leached from the upper part to the lower horizon so here alluvation process is very much active and humus content of the soil is removed first by the bacteria that thrives well in the high temperature and the soils are very poor in organic matter nitrogen phosphate and calcium iron oxide and the soils are mainly found in the highland areas of the plateau region like karnataka kerala tamil nadu maharashtra madhya pradesh orissa and assam some hilly regions of the orissa and assam why it is red in color because of high uh, content of iron coarse texture uh, soft and friable but it cannot retain moisture that's why it is not suitable for agriculture some cashew nut tapioca is grown here and uh, some grass and bushes shrubs grow abundantly here and it becomes hard like a brick when it dries up already it do not this soil do not have does not have any moisture retaining capacity number 1 and number 2 that's why in the uh, dry season it becomes hard thus it is not useful for agriculture but provides a very good building material however the soils can be used for growing crops but fewer crops with what i have already mentioned so what is the main use of the laterite soil formation of brick which is used for building purpose next is the arid soil from the name it is clear that arid soil is found in the arid regions of india like rajasthan punjab and haryana the color of this soil ranges from the red to brown most of the soil is a sandy in in texture see this yellow part of the indian map is the arid soil map and this soil is lack of humus organic uh, moisture so it is a it is not uh, very much fertile and it is occupied by the kanker that means the bhavar i have said the bhavar the bhavar when makes up with the see this is the northern plain okay so it is a full of the alluvium deposits so river actually flow from this region ganga river so this plain is the khadar because khadar khadar is a new newly formed alluvium which is uh, formed in the flat plain but this region is the away from the flat plain so it is a bhavar regions and when this lime and uh, uh, calcareous material mix with the bhavar it is formed kankar so kankar is found in the punjab haryana region and also in the arid regions also in the rajasthan and some few crops like millet barley bajra wheat brown nut is uh, formed in this type of soil and phosphate content is normal and there is a deficiency of the nitrogen so it is not suitable for the rice cultivation but sometimes of uh, zayat crop cultivate here next soil is the saline soil so from the name it is clear that saline soil means 
the soil which contained high type of salinity higher proportion of the sodium potassium and the magnesium as such this soil are infertile and have scarce vegetations this is the group in the usara that means uh, one is the urvara in ancient times and another is the usara and this is the infertile type of soil now here the it is developed due to the dry climate and the poor drainage obviously such soils are found in the arid and semi arid regions they are mostly sandy uh, and lack in nitrogen and, and calcium saline soils are mainly found in the gujarat deltas of the eastern coast uh, sundarban area the run of kutch southwest um, the southwest monsoon brings the salt particles and deposit there as a crest so this sal saline soil is mainly found into the uh, coastal area and also in the mangrove region see the picture see the red patches in the sal salinity so what is the main management of the salinity number 1 we can remove the extra sal 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 salinity from the soil extra salt from the soil only leaching remove the salt from the plant root zone that means if there is a heavy rainfall or maybe the artificial rainfall also help to remove the soil salinity in present context number of saline soil also reclaimed by this way and number 2 irrigation we have to give more irrigation we have to provide more water into the saline soil why because more water helps to leaching process of the salt from the upper part to the root zone plants root zone into the interior this is the only way we we can remove the extra salt from the soil next soil is the peat soil the peat soil is found in the heavy rainfall region like bihar uttar uttarakhand uh, uh, west bengal orissa where is the high humidity prevail also the tamil nadu they have a very good growth of vegetation and a rich in humus and organic content next soil is the forest soil the forest soil is found in the forest region uh, of uh, the mainly in the mountainous region himalayan part northern part of the india we can found the forest soil and they are uh, silt in silty in nature and in the snow bound areas of the himalaya they are experienced in the denudation and are acidic this soil is not fertile in the himalayan region but in the lower valley it is very much fertile in this map you will see what is the main distribution of the soil see in the upper part where is the himalaya here is a thick vegetation cover also so on also the snow cover there is forest and mountain soil we see next plain is the alluvial soil upper part of the alluvial soil is the terai soil next is the black soil is this gray part is the black and some patches are in the deep black in color it is a deep black soil now in the coastal area there is some deltaic alluvial soil some parts of the peninsular plateau there is uh, peat and marshy soil uh, or in the laterite soil so this is the main regional distribution of different different types of soil in india for this class this is all in my next class i shall discuss about the soil degradation namaskar